Today, we are going to find out which is the best unit in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Guys, welcome to the Ultimate Tabs Tournament. Let's see who is going to win. Guys, here we go! Join the project by subscribing to the channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications so you'll never miss another video. Hey guys, this is Poratic Jasify and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Guys, today we're gonna do something really cool, okay? Today we have a TABS tournament to find out which is the best unit in the game. And here's how we're gonna do it, guys. First, we have to find out which is the best unit from each faction. Now, there are five factions in the game, meaning that at the end of the tournament, we will be left with five of the best ones. And in order to select which unit is the best, we are gonna put them up against each other in awesome battles. Now, there are two rules to the tournament, okay? Each team can only spend a maximum of 3,000 bucks. That means if you have a cheap unit, one that doesn't cost a lot, you can have a lot of them, right? A big army. But if you spend a lot of money on a big unit, like the Mammoth, for example, you can only have like one and maybe two. But that's okay, because it should even out the power anyway. And rule number two is, if a unit wins a battle, it has to stay on the battlefield and battle the next unit. This is how we are going to have an awesome tabs tournament. This is how we are going to find out which unit is the absolute best. And if you guys are excited for it, be sure to leave a like on the video right here, right now. And after you guys have left a little likey, we're gonna get into the tournament. And here it is, the first battle. We are starting it off with the tribal faction. We have 3,000 bucks worth of clubbers versus 3,000 bucks worth of shields. Which is going to be victorious. Now it all comes down to the strategy, okay? To the mindset, to the battle tactics. And I don't have a lot of faith in the club, man, okay? Except that it does look like they're going to win. Look how close this battle is. It ends up with a, a two versus one. No, wait, a two versus two. Who's gonna win here? I can't tell, it's too close. <gasps> it's the final clubber! That was absolutely as close as it's ever going to get. That was a great start, but now the clubbers are going to stay in place and the protectors are gonna get deleted. Now I will place down 3,000 bucks exactly worth of these spear throwers. Let's see which is going to be the winner, okay? Now, I've placed them just close enough to each other that it's fair, okay? If you place the club is too far away, the ranged unit is gonna win. But it does look like the clubbers are gonna destroy these guys. Maybe that wasn't entirely fair, okay? This time, they are at maximum range. Let's see if that makes any difference at all. I mean, it's a lot of spears, but look at this. These clubber guys are so powerful. My goodness, they might be the most powerful of the tribal faction. Or are they the most powerful? Because these stoner guys, yeah, they don't want to mess around, okay? They just want to throw a bunch of stones, right? And they're so slow, though. But now comes the area of effect damage, right? Come on, hit them all at the same time. Oh, this is... Whoa, this is not working. But I think that they're gonna go down in the next round, okay? Because the bone mages are really good against these big armies, right? Now you can tell, right? They are more expensive. There are not as many bone mages because we can only spend 3,000. And look at it. It is absolutely a beautiful. I love it. Flying guys all over the place. Let's, let's set this party ablaze, okay? Let's get these clubbers flying into the air. Come on. You are bone mages. They are powerful, right? Oh my. Is it working out? It's a very close battle. Oh, it's a very close battle. It's a two versus three. It's a two. Oh, no way. Three versus one. And come on. Do we have a new challenger? Yes. The next unit is the Bone Mage. So now instead of deleting the blue team, we are going to delete the clubbers because they have lost the battle. But look at this, right? 
chieftains. These are very, very expensive. We are not allowed to place down many of those. But they are taking a good hit here. Oh, this is looking good. But, uh, oh. What? I thought, <laughs> what? Wow, those guys absolutely annihilated the bone mages. Now, it is time for the final battle of the tribal affection, okay? Which is going to be more powerful? Is it Melvin the Mammoth? Or is it the Chieftains? Guys, we have the first winner, okay? They will advance to the finale, but first... We're checking out the next faction. So don't forget that the Chieftains are the winners of this faction. We will see them later on now. It is time to move on over to the next map for the Farmers. 3,000 bucks worth of Halflings versus 3,000 bucks worth of Farmers. This is the next faction that we're doing and I think I know who is gonna be the winner of this faction, okay? Do you guys know as well? But we're gonna find out. Here we go first, okay? I think the farmers are gonna win this round, but I also think that they're gonna lose the next one. That's just, that's just me, okay? I'm not sure. It, uh, what I do know is that this is a close battle, though. Look at that, these tiny little halflings. Oh, they're putting up a battle. Oh my, it's a really close one again. Oh no, are the farmers gonna lose? Nah, they can't lose. They can't lose. It's a three versus two. No! One versus one? Two versus one! Oh, they can do it. Oh, that was so close! The farmers were victorious, so now they get to battle the hay guy. Hey, <laughs> yeah! I like the hay guy, okay? He's got he's got like hay and and he's a guy. Now they are really good against ranged units because they've got that armor, right? The hay actually acts as armor. But I don't know if it's any good against the pitchfork. And I can already tell that the farm is gonna win this one, right? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's not looking good for the hay guy. Oh, these are very, very expensive. I have a bad feeling about the potion seller. They are really good against large groups of enemies. But as you can see, they are so slow. Oh my goodness, they throw a few potions and then they just sit and wait. Kind of sunbathing. But here's the one that I think is going to win, okay? These guys... Don't wait around sunbathing, okay? Oh no, they are gonna whack away big time. It's farmers versus harvesters. And that big scythe is just gonna rip through this army, I know it. Well, do I know it? Why are farmers so powerful? Guys, this is unbelievable. I can't believe how powerful these farmers are. And why are you sunbathing? I know it's a beautiful day out, but it doesn't mean you have to go sunbathing. Oh, this guy's good though. Maybe he should sunbathe some more. Gives him some energy. And where are you going, farmer guy? Ah, I just want to go back to the field, James. No, you're not going back to the field, boy. Oh, he's really gonna get it, huh? He's really gonna get it. Oh, come on. I want to see this guy whack him in slow motion. Is that gonna work? And <laughs> here it comes. Oh, he missed it. No. Oh, can he swing again? Come on, swing again. One more time. And... Did that not just go through his face? That, that <laughs> Finally. We have a new challenger as always. James was right, wasn't he? Now let's see if the wheelbarrows can clean it up. I, I have absolutely zero faith in the wheelbarrow, okay? It's a very funny unit, but that's just no way, right? That is absolutely no way that they're gonna win from the... Oh, from the harvester. I thought those were hay guys. But it's just hey, minus the guy. Now it's gonna get spooky, okay? Yeah, that's right. We got some scarecrows. Now we can't spend the full 3,000 because if we do, we would exceed the limit. So they're not getting a lot of value. And there you go. The next winner of the faction battles is the Harvester. So now the scores are for the tribal, we have the Chieftain as a winner, and for the Farmer faction, we have the Harvester. Let's move on over to the next faction. And the first battle of the medieval faction is going to be a very disappointing one, okay? We got Bardos! Run, Bardo! <laughs> there is no way that they're ever gonna win, right? It does look pretty, though. It kind of looks like fire coming out of a dragon, right? I love it. But they're heading right for the edge. And there's even a little sign here. You know what the sign says? Don't jump, Bardo. Don't do it. Bardo has so much to live for, right? Oh, except that 
Wait, are they gonna win? They're not gonna win, right? Yeah, they're just gonna kind of run around like chickens and maybe hug a wall or two. No, don't jump off. What are you... <laughs> they're actually jumping off the map. Oh, that's so sad. Come on, guys. There has to be a better solution than this than that, right? Don't do it, Bardo. Don't do it. Don't jump. No. <laughs> I want to cry, guys. This is the saddest... Just the most depressing battle I've seen in my life. Now, even though the battle isn't quite over, I think this is gonna last another eternity. So let's just go ahead, put the Bardus out of their misery, okay? And declare the Knights the ultimate winners of this battle. I know I just said Knights. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, okay? These are the Squires, of course. So let's see if these squirrels are any good, okay? There's a lot of trees around, so they, they should be in their natural habitat here. Now we got a lot of archers, okay? 3,000 bucks worth of archers. And they're like a minigun, okay? They are booing away 24 7 non stop. But it does look like that melee is once again the superior one, okay? Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna be the Bardo battle all over again. This is gonna be sad, okay? These priests can only heal themselves, but there's a whole army of squirries coming in hot. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this guy is sad, right? At least they don't run, okay? They stand the test of the battle like a proud man. But yeah, that's a, a proud man that's unfortunately not alive anymore. Ah, yes. Now I can say that the knights are joining the party, okay? These cost nine times more than a little squirry. But are they nine times more powerful? We are going to find out about that, okay? They sure charge forward into the battle. Oh, this is a close one. Oh, this is a really good battle. One is remaining. First is two. No, wait, there's still four squirries. Oh, this is an epic battle. Last one. Can he do it? Oh, no, we lost. Now, for this battle, I have cheated a little bit, okay? We have spent 150 more bucks on this team than on the squirries. But I just had to do it because I don't feel like these meatballs stand any chance. Hello? They are so good. All right, meatball launcher to the rescue. Can they actually win it here? No way, there's only two guys. They can do it. I can't believe it. Oh, they won. I know, I know. The meatball launcher cheated a little bit, spending 150 more bucks, but it doesn't matter because the knight is here. And the knight is gonna annihilate them. Uh, annihilate them. That's right, write it down. Um... Wait, I said write it down. Don't lie down. What are you doing? He's going for a sleepy. I didn't think the knight would actually go for a sleepy. But here he goes. The last meatball launcher. And the wapow! The knight is the best unit of the medieval faction. Wait a minute. Did I say knight again? I said king, right? I'm pretty sure I said king. Anyway, here we have the three winners of the faction battles. Now, we are going to see which is the best one of the Greek faction. Now, as we know, Zeus, the mighty god, is part of this faction. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, these guys, the Spear Boys, they are the best ones, okay? I guarantee you that they are so powerful and so cheap that you can place down a million of them. And they make the sounds of cute little mice, right? It's so cute. And they're gonna win it all. They're, they're, they're gonna like, they're, they're gonna smite down Zeus and, and, and they're gonna battle the hoplites and, and everything else. It's gonna be no problem. Except that this first battle against the shield guys is a pretty close one. And we got one guy running away. Are you hiding behind the house? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He's trying to hide. Well, you can hide in any tiny little gap, but that spear... Yeah, that's gonna reach right in there, right? And hokey pokey, yeah! Now we have more spear guys, but these are much more expensive because they have better armor and they've got a shield. Is that extra money worth it? Well, that was a fast answer. No, it is not. That was a really fast battle, but now it's up to the snake archers. When the game first released, guys, these were garbage. They were so bad, but they have been buffed. Are they any better now? Apparently the snake is smarter and more aggressive. But oh boy, they still don't fire fast enough. They need to fire much faster. Oh, that's not good. Wow, look at that. Oh, there goes another snake. But it's just a snake. 
a too few. Now, unlike the meatball launches, we have the ballistas over here. Why do I say catapults? Unlike the catapults, I'm sorry, okay? We've got the ballistas. And unlike those other things, we can actually safely put down three of them without saying that I have cheated, which feels pretty good, man. Now, let's see if they are gonna be good enough at it. Oh, it's unfortunate that we have one guy here, right? Oh, no, why? See, that's what I told you guys. These spear guys, they are, they're so powerful. All right, I have cheated a little bit once again. We have spent 40 more gold over on Team Minotaur, but I, I couldn't place down just one of them. They would be, like, he would be so sad, right, all by himself. No, he's got a little buddy, a little friend, and he's happy. That, well, do I hear a chicken? Where, where, where's the chicken? Hello? That's kind of weird. But yeah, there's absolutely no way that these two weird man bulls are gonna win, right? Yeah, they are getting absolutely annihilated. Oof. Now it is time for the battle we have all been waiting for. Zeus has joined the party. And instead of putting them all in a direct line, what we are gonna do is... We're gonna put them in a, uh... Did I say direct line? What is that even? No, wait. From vertical to horizontal. There you go. That's how we're gonna try it. And as you can see, that is when Zeus is most effective because the lightning thingy just zaps through the entire line of dudes and it's so beautiful guys in the next video you know what we should try we should just try to see how many dudes zeus can just annihilate with one hit but wait a minute is he gonna win this time oh it's a really close one oh <gasps> No way, he still lost? Well, that's kind of sad, but also kind of awesome because as always, James was right, okay? No, but I'm kidding. These spear guys, they are totally OP. Now it is time for the final faction battle. After this one, we are going to find out which is indeed the most powerful unit in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We're gonna kick things off with Ice Archers versus... I was gonna say Halflings. No, this is kind of a Halfling though. Look how tiny he is, but no, Head Butters. Let's see if they can butt some head, okay? Oh yeah, that's a lot of ice already. I like it. Oh, they are getting frozen in place. Kinda works like camouflage, though. Oh, this is so beautiful. How many ice arrows does it take to take down a guy, though? Oh my. And they do fire fast, though. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking really good. I thought the headbutters were gonna win, but look at this. These ice arches are awesome. Wow, look at that. And they actually melt. Oh, wow. How cool is that? Well, I didn't expect... Did you guys expect that? I did not expect that. Ice Archers are victorious. But surely they can't win from the Brawlers. After all, they have a shield to block the Ice Arrow. <gasps> and it works. Look at that. Well, except when they get hit in the knee, of course. When you take an arrow to the knee, no more partying for you, soldier. Not at all. Well, they are very slow, though. Look at that. And the slow increases the more ice arrows you take to the face. But they got to them. They got to them. A little bit. Yo, why are ice arches so powerful all of a sudden? Look at this guy. Uh, I'm so cold, James. I'm so cold. Yeah, that's right. You should not have moved to Viking land if you were afraid of the cold, okay? You should have just moved to, like, Hawaii or something, right? Oh, it's gonna be another close one, guys. I mean, these look a little bit undead, but they're okay. They're still moving. Oh, it looks like, yeah, they are gonna win. Oh, this is gonna be a real fighter's battle, okay? Look at that. They just chuck themselves right at him. I mean, these are some serious warriors, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow it down a little bit, boys. They are moving at light speed and my eyes do not. So let's see. Oh, it's a really close battle again. Oh, I like this so much, guys. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Is it gonna be the 1X boy or... Is it gonna be the double X boy? It does look like the double X boy is gonna win, right? Let's keep it up. Let's keep up the chopping. See, this is why you should never take a shield. Because the best defense is offense. And this big boy, look how tall he is. He can tell, right? Yeah, <laughs> wow. All right, here we have the Valkyries. They're gonna fly, which should mean... That they technically count. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They all fly. Oh, my goodness. Can we see that again? I have to see that in slow motion, okay? That went a little bit too fast. Oh, that was the first one. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. It's an actual air battle. Very nice indeed. Man, these guys are relentless. Holy moly. But the Valkyries, I think they are a little bit better against ranged units. 
And these uh, double eggs, boys. I don't know if they're gonna win this, man. Oh, it is so close. Come on, can they do it? Oh, the Valkyries are gonna win, right? I think so. Look at that. Poke, 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 poke. One versus one. It is a one versus one. No, wait, it's a one versus two. <gasps> and blue is just barely victorious. Now, these are some expensive guys, okay? Big eggs, boys. Are they gonna be more powerful than double eggs, boys? I think so, okay, man, that cost 850 bucks. I can only place down three of them, which is not a lot, but I still have faith in them. I mean, look at the size of that axe. If you can't win with that, I don't even know anymore. And he's got a bear on his head. That's what I'm talking about. Look, even the bear is surprised that they won. Like, whoa, how did we win that one? <laughs> now it is time for the final battle. Let's see which of these units is the best one of the Viking faction now. It does look like it's a three versus three, but that is not entirely true because these guys still have three dudes in the ship. And here it goes. Oh, is he gonna crush him? He's gonna crush him. No, oh, watch out. Woo! Oh, he dodged it. And he dodged another one, kind of barely. Oh, but this one he's gonna take right. And <laughs> wow, super crushed, man. Oh, that's not good. That deals a lot of damage. He went down like instantly, right? Oof. Now let's see if they can clean up. They should be able to clean up. Oh, <gasps> no way! Are the boats actually good? All right, guys, may I introduce to you the final five, okay? These represent the best of each faction. For the tribal, we have the chieftain. For the farmers, we have the harvester. For the medieval, we have the king. For the uh, Spartan Greek boys, we have got the Sarissa. And for the Vikings, we have got the Boti. Let's see which of these is the best one now guys for these battles we are amping up the budget okay from three thousand bucks all the way to five thousand let's see which is going to be the better one okay the first two factions are the tribal versus the farmers and i think the farmers are gonna win it here okay i think they're gonna win it here oh but it's close again it's really close four versus three tribal in the lead Three versus two, farmers making a comeback. Can they do it though? Oh, it's really close. Final one. And the farmers just barely win. That means we are gonna put the farmers up against the medieval guys, which means we can spawn three kings. Oh boy, that is a lot of royal power. Let's see if they can do it, okay? Because each king has to take out like two and a half of these guys, right? And I don't think half a guy is really that difficult to take down. But that's not how it works, okay? But wow. It's a complete clean sweep for the kings. Are the kings gonna end up as the best unit? I'm not entirely sure. But for 5,000 bucks. My goodness, can you get a lot of spare boys? Holy moly. After all, these are the only units that made it to the end that are like really dirt cheap. So let's see. Oh, that is a lot of them. That is so many of them. Holy moly. They're not gonna win this, right? Two kings down. We've got the final one. Oh, there's no way he's gonna win. <gasps> Are the spear guys gonna win the tournament? Oh, I am so excited to find out. Guys, it's the final battle. The best of the absolute best in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We've got spear guys versus the boaties. Let's see which unit will prevail as the winner, okay? I can't wait, okay? We've got the most beautiful crown. And the winner is gonna get that crown. Okay, that's not true. I have no crown. But it doesn't matter. Because the title alone should be enough, right? Now, the big damage is gonna come from the ships that come crashing down. Which is really good against these guys as they are grouped up, right? Yeah, I like it. I, I, I don't know where this boat is going, though. What are you doing? That is not the best boat throw I've seen in my life. Now, let's see what's cooking over here. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. The, the boat is having a rough time. I mean, they kind of get spears as well. But without the sharp pointy bit at the end. So, I uh, don't know if that's good, though. What a mess here, though. This is a total <laughs> shipwreck, dude. Oh, no. It's the first shipwreck that has happened on land. Well, land. I guess this is water, but frozen. It's still water, right? Is that how it works? It is not looking good for the boaty guys. It does look like the spear boys are gonna win. But just like last time, they could turn it all around, okay? Wait, are the ships still sinking? 
And there we have it, guys. The best unit in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator is the Spear Guy. Yeah! And I know I said in the last video that I promised you I would do viewer suggestions. We're gonna do that in the next video. I promise you guys and it's gonna happen so post your comments below but for now guys thank you all so much for watching please do a like subscribe and i'll see if you guys and the spear guys on the next project 5 video <laughs>